Yes, welcome to the Jamaica Young Police Channel. To our loyal viewers, subscribers and Patreon members. At the channel, we are a group of law-abiding citizens who believe in the rule of law and respect the rights of every citizen. But not the ones who do not subscribe to such behavior. We do believe in and support preemptive strikes because they save lives. This is a logical conclusion because preemptive strikes save lives and prevent the further loss of lives. We are all about saving lives at this channel. We at the channel aid criminals with a passion and do not want them over here. We do not want your views, your subscriptions, your likes or your comments. Please go elsewhere where the red carpet is waiting for you. Over here, we want you to go to prison or the departure lounge at Madden. Moving on to today's video. Yeah, so if you look at your thumb, thumb, thumbnail on your LCD, you will see that you know, it says, Most Jamaicans love others. Other Jamaicans who are professional liars and don't mean their countrymen no good. Everything that they are doing, it's what's in it for me. So that's the reason why uh, we are in this state right now as Jamaicans. Because wrong is right and right is double right. Our people, especially women, they are the biggest contributor to crime. It doesn't matter how, it does, irrespective of their age, they can be young, old, even babies. Yes, you know, that's how it is. And these people, they blame everything that is going on in their lives and other people and they grudge other people for what they have. They're lazy. Yes, when I said lazy, they're lazy in every way. They don't want to work. You understand? And every time in time they commit crimes, they are the innocent one. And that is what, um, you know, some, most of the politicians in Jamaica make excuse of these people. You know, so you used to hear them talk about human rights. When they talk about human rights in it, they're always talking about the perpetrator of crimes. So that's the reason why Jamaica is the only place on earth where people commit crimes and people find time to sympathize for the, for the um, perpetrator and not wanting to hold them accountable for their actions. You understand? It's always... It's always the police fault why they involve in crime and why the police have to kill them. As if the police not supposed to defend themselves. So you have three got um, three young men in um rear town going on a robbery spree, robbing people and we don't know if they're committing a murder. And you're going to see, you know, the culture. As I told you before, you know, in the Kinson metropolitan areas, if you're not from uptown, different different socialization but if you are from below it all depends on the community that you are that you live they're the indoctrination of inform of the dead so what they must do they, they must have free reign to commit crime against you and your family and you're not supposed to report it to the police once you report it to the police you must be killed and everyone who are witnesses to that killing supposed to be killed too because they are the ones who supposed to be able to do whatever they want to do. So that's where we have these human rights group. And these human rights group are very destructive to the Jamaican people. They are not helping them, especially poor people. Only helping them to become more criminals. So that's why these young men, they grew up, saw the, so, um, the socialization of criminality in a Jamaica. In Jamaica, when you're, when you're a criminal, first you're the victim. Yeah, the person who commit the crime is a victim because he's poor and he's black and the system is a racist system left by the British to criminalize black people as if it's not black people that's there, that's a uh, man in the country. But you know in Jamaica, you know that our lawmakers, although they are black too, most of them don't, don't mean black people any, any good, no good at all. So you're going to hear from um, this old lady. Yeah, man. You're going to see how many teeth that she have missing. So all of the teeth them that she had missing from out of her mouth is for the lies that she have told on the police. You don't have to ask, you know, because I told you already, you know, the community where I was born and raised, you were taught. I was taught. Not that I, I, I embrace it. I was taught from day one, you must eat the police. I must eat our labor rights. That's how it is. 
I don't know, and all of we are black people. All we eat the people them for protect us, the police. And that's how it is. That's how you have this, this factories that birth criminality in all of these PMP, LGBTQ plus garrisons. You understand? We cannot tell you anything about the labor right them. We know that the labor right them are for them on conveyors belt up. But at least their things are totally different. They are still criminals. We don't make excuses to them. But they haven't been as that far as a PMP. So I want you to listen to this old lady. Yeah, that claim that the, these men, you know, will rob, rob, rob people their properties. They are innocent. And you're going to hear this old lady and she's... Uh, we, don't, we cannot pray for her. Because some people, you can't pray for them. Believe you me. Uh, yeah, you understand? So... You watch, you listen, and you decide. Little boy, them kill. Three innocent little boy, them they will reach 28. What me say, them say, them fine gun, all know we no see no gun. We don't see a spank shell. We don't even know if a police or a gunman kill them. If gunman, they kill them, you just see spank shell. And if police, they kill them, you just see spank shell. What is spank shell them there? Show with the gun now. Where are they? We don't kill all the three people in them if we need a fine gun. Carry me now. We don't see no carrying big bad man. We have big gun. We don't afraid that. And carry them in, why you could carry the tree up into them? When you kill them and draw them, throw them in a deep and carry them away. All now we don't see them body. All now we don't see a be a blood we are look for. Fisherman, look boy, I show them idea, say my fisherman and I beg for them life. Them I beg for them life and them still kill them. Not a shoot out, which bad? And them go knock up the pity them out of them bed and them open the door them say police. And them open the door and right away. Innocent! Jesus murder! Wicked! The police them are afraid of them. And them are a rescue. And them are a protector. And when we go to them, we have to run from them. Why? Why we are run from them? Them is wicked. They them can't be trusted. Who will be just? Andrew will let's talk to you know? Who will be just, daddy? You put them to protect me and, and save me. And when we run, go to them, we have to run from them. Eh? Who oh, but just? Oh, look here, we get some man. Jesus, my belly move from man and I know me can't eat. And me grow them picnic, them are 53, I've seen them in here. Yes, yeah, so as you can look, that's the woman. She says she is 53. If she is 53, well, I am 90. Because that woman cannot be 53. My, my Jesus. Look at the woman mouth. Well, liar spit in her mouth when she was drunk. Yeah, man, when he, the, yeah, liar spit in her mouth. When he was drunk. That's why she's a professional liar and a criminal supporter. What a chaka chaka mouth. My God. And she out there. So, hey, not even shame she a rasta. Not even shame she. So, you know, so she no brush her teeth. No hygiene. That's why she lose all her teeth. Them, you know, and look on all the front of her mouth. And she's talking about these boys. Innocent. If you hold them with a the gun, why you never said them? Look here. The only thing that gun is made for us to kill people. So once you, once you are killing people with a legal gun or robbing them, and once you fire shot on the police, the police have to take the necessary action, yeah man, and defend them life. So, hey, look here, we try no tears on our robbers and them thing. The only fishing that these guys use to fish is to fish on land and take people them property. So, we gonna let you listen now from a victim, yeah man, from a victim, you understand? So, um, what she wants to say now, she wants to say that the police execute these men and they are innocent. But guess what? They are not inno innocent because the people, the victims of the robbery, of the phones that lead the police to, um, to that yard. The victims were, uh, they had to, the, the victims had to, had to run for safety too because they could not believe that the good men were so brave. Although the police identified and when they start firing shots at the police. The victims have to run for their lives. And this woman is talking about um, their innocent youth and they didn't have any gun and this and that. So we're going to debunk and show you how there are some wicked people, you know. Look here. As I stated to you before, you know, Jamaican people, you know, especially from these communities, um, because I am a product of these communities too. Because, you know, they, they taught you from day one, yeah, for eat, the first thing they do is tell, taught you to eat the police. And the police are your enemy and you must eat labor right. I don't know if we or she live it's if it's labor right or PMP. But that's I'm just imparting what they have impart what they have taught me. You understand? But I did not grasp it. 
because I had a mother who have decency, honesty, truthfulness, ethics and morality. And my mother don't believe in no one supposed to abuse or infringe or abridge another person's human rights. You understand? You, you must respect people. So I don't, did not subscribe to their philosophy. So as to them, they see me as like a foreigner, alien to them. Because I don't spew or support their kind of lifestyle. Because they have a socialistic lifestyle. Well, hey, whatever you have, you must give it to them or share it with them. And if you don't, you must lose your life. That's the philosophy that they have imparted to our people in these Kinsho metropolitan area. And now it's become a pandemic in Jamaica now. Yeah, man, it's a pandemic. Yeah, this thing now is a pandemic. It's the people, it's, the, it's like a disease. Every, every also, you can count the few people in Jamaica who support law enforcement or law abiding citizens. And guess what? If they do it, they have to do it privately. You cannot speak publicly that you are for law and order. You have to say you support bad man and this man, you are bad man and that's how it is, the culture of criminality and then put these people on pedestals. Instead of these communities to transfer, transform them, yes, you have doctors, police, soldiers. We attack police where have integrity. We don't attack thief in police, you understand? You know that you can put up and say, boy, these people are exemplary. Poli um, people from their communities. You understand? So, yeah, so, man, just looking at our mouth, it's very, it's a very distasteful sight, but hey, I just saw it go, I just saw harsh reality that have Jamaican ghetto people, some of them. Yeah, and you know, it's the women, you know, are the ones who benefited from crimes. You understand? And these young men, they did not want to work. Three of them, two guns, and them robbing people and robbing them cell phone. So now they know that. Um, when you rob somebody to your cell phone, the police can track it. You understand? But they did not care because they scared to sell them. And you, you understand? But Apple, Apple is a total different cookie. Because even if they, um, they get the password, there's another layer of security they have to pass. So it don't make sense you rob an Apple phone. That's why I use Apple. You understand? You don't use, you, you rob an Apple phone, uh, that is, that phone have no use to you. Because there's three levels of security that you have to go through. So if you go through one, yeah, that's it. Then after that, it lost lot down. So you know, use. So we want you to listen to this victim. Yeah, this victim that they had, that these same boys, you know, that had robbed. Yeah, man, the robber them, you're going to hear from him. So you watch, you listen, you decide. And this is a makeup thing. And we applaud this man. You understand? Yeah, we applaud him for speaking up. Because, uh, hey, look here. And guess what? Most of the time, you know, that the um, uh, poor people are the victim of crime, you know. The people them uptown, you know, Lisa Anna, Mark Golden and their children and Dana Scott Borsing, their children not affected by these kind of crime, you know. They not affected because they live uptown, they're insulated by the police and them have security and all these things up there. But yet, you know, they will tell us about, uh, you know, murder 50 years, too much murder and, uh, you know, for rape 15 years, how about somebody rape on you know, and then you know what it feel like, uh, all Dana Scott Borsing, you yeah, rape, you know. Yeah, man, and they, oh, well, me know say the body not going to rape the, um, the woman will look like. Um, we don't advocate for rape because we are against crime. But uh, because you people support criminality, so we are, you understand, we don't have to experience it. So I want you to listen to this victim, this man who was robbed by these same boys. You watch, you listen, you decide. Yeah, last night I come in off the road. I think at 10 o'clock news it was. And me here. Three killed in Raytown. Police killed three in Raytown. I'm sure the, I'm sure the picture of people. I'm talking you know, because I don't live my life in a fear and I don't walk in a fear. Though the road grind me every day, people, and leaving your family at home and coming out even with your family, you're not even sure if you have a lift to go back in to all the road around. The gun them enough on the road, which everybody know that. And criminals up on the road that traverse to and fro. You don't know what can happen next. But I don't have a problem with police, I have a problem with the law, I'm a law abiding citizen. And the police them them step up them tempo and them do them work. When I will take side with nobody and say the police corrupt or whatever, that's not my business. They have never dealt with me on that level before, so 
maintenant on va hang up on the system where the police and the soldiers are concerned but those three faces them show up on tv last night with the police killing a rate on and them robbed me on Abba street right at the all ice factory and traumatized me out because the brown boy where you see on the, the, the tv i am resting gun angle for my son and put the nozzle on my side yeah he look like him innocent when he start talking you see the killer in him and people jump up and say police this and police that and police kill them in a cold blood police know see how them do the dirt because police smart you know and think the police are fooling you know. sometimes see a man do things long 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 and police are report are tell them report them report them report them report them you know the reason why for that for you keep reporting them because when them act them have enough back it if to support them action with them do police give people chance to change them full full ways you know and police know say you are dealing with something called information are coming boy you know so they don't come for yet a chance and mercy period them are give you you stop the way you are doing you know so when them have to come for you them really have to come for you because you know say you are doing you are doing yeah man i just god make them not kill me the day down 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 on arbor street there right at the top the last left turn and a little lane they run cross water lane yeah man them not innocent them robbed me september the 6th 2 30. right at the intersection of what uh arbor street and the road the last left turn go down there so brawling under the cameras they robbed me traumatized me out take away my phone take away the phone of them call the person see them want to buy Take away bike papers and run gun in the direction and return, return from the bridge yeah, so side to come from over so across the road. Yeah. Um, these gunmen. Good work, police. Keep it Jones up. Men, because the victim, your man, a victim, a man who was robbed, you know, told her that these guys have traumatized even his son. You understand? And they rest the gun beside him and he thought that he was going to die. Because that's what happened in time people are getting robbed up. And that's why we say, boy, everybody at Jamaica for have license gun and stop use people address and over change the system. We need a MP, the MP who uh, represent Rio Town for living a Rio Town. I saw you get the community them better, you know. Yeah, man. So all of the people them will live up town and represent downtown people, and them they know downtown people and live. I feel live like hostages in a them own community. You understand? And I wake up to gunshot a man. Man, I come with gun and I come demand things and you have to give them. And I come and demand all your data and them things that you see that you comply or them kill you or you have to move out. I just saw it going at them community there. And most people don't know it, you know, because they, they are not, they don't live there. You understand? So, they don't know what poor people experience there, you know, with these people, you know, with these murderers. So, real town gunmen, yeah man, three of them, they took on, they take on the police force in a shootout after a robbery. And guess who lost the gunfight? Yeah man, thank God for the police. Three fewer robbers and gunmen. So meet three dead fishermen whose boats was on dry land and they robbed cell phones from passerby. A brave Jamaican made a video identified them as robbers. Apart from the people who went there with the police and you know, all have to run like thief, you know, when the boy them start fire shot in the yard upon the police out of Rio Town, you know. And you see that woman who claims, say, oh, me a 53. If she a 53, me a 100. Lie, she a tell. So, the, and she a defend these miscreants. You understand? So, that's why we are telling the, um, the jurors, and you are convict police. Police. For sure, criminal with gun and them thing there. You, you, you do a big disservice. No wonder why the criminal them because I remember a policeman and I don't remember his name right now in a half an hour. Them convict him enough for kill a boy in a, um, out by salt, you know. And I, and I say it and I say it again, you know. Yeah, I was involved in a shooting in 1994, there about. Yeah, in the 90s, in the early, middle 90s. Yes, more, uh, well, uh, that's what was one of them, well, them Black Road. More one time, them Black Road, them involved in a shooting, in a, especially Kingston 13. Kingston 11 people, them, them never Black no Road. Uh, no, never. Always Kingston 13. Kingston 13 are the community, them, where always Black Road and me in time involved in a shooting, me and Bobby, yeah. So, yeah, involved in a shooting. Boy, uh, seven shot the arm, um, all those get. And the same people, them are 40 people, get statement against me, say the boy. The boy um, who um, shot up all those, so him never have no gun. 
So I me plant the gun and I me shot the whole house. So I two, I two gun me a walk it. And I all house, the whole house the wanted for murder. And him give a um, statement from fiend bed. You understand? Because him did want to talk. A, a man will get shot, you know, the, the injured man, you know, him give statement, you know. And see me from the charge, you know. I tell you how them people are wicked, you know. So you see that the old man, the Angus one, you know. You see when she got a coat with her feel neck and neck out and um, boy, I threw with poor. I saw the jury of them. Yeah, emotion. Them don't know say them people are a, a professional liar. That's how they are socialized, nurtured to be. You understand? So, as we tell you already, so you, you meet the three de, um, dead fishermen whose boats, whose boats was at, were on dry land and they robbed cell phones from passerby and robbed them of them properties. So are you tired of living in fear? Are you sick of being the victim? Well, according to the PMP, PMP party, in Jamaica, the killers, robbers, rapers, rapists are the real victims. Yes, you heard, heard that right. Rayton residents protest fatal shooting of three 19-year-olds year year olds by police. So on September 26, 2023, I was robbed right here. On September 6, the man says, 2023, I was robbed right here in Rayton. Three men cornered me, stole my belongings and left me shaking. But I did not stay silent. I made this video to identify them. Identify the men who robbed me. And what I have discovered shook me to my core. The people of this community claim that these men weren't gunmen. But, but just regular guys. Yet the evidence show a different story. These same men were found in possession of not only my belongings. But also items stolen from women in our community this kind of behavior raises questions about our community community's values and culture of support for criminals are we willing to disregard the crimes committed by those we knew we know are we actively enabling these criminals yes we are especially the pmp lgbtq plus criminal organization right now you understand? The Prime Minister, him used to, you know, because he used to talk about human rights, but him had come to a Jesus moment because he said the boy them get emboldened. I want to give the people them in the coming up. I want to always beat the police. Remember, after the 20, 2010 Tivoli incursion, I want to blame the police and the soldier. Even you to Prime Minister Andrew Wallace, so you help contribute to the problem, but now we are trying to fix it. We'll never see Dr. Chang and Bobby Montague out there and I support criminality. Are you always do that and them thing about um, yeah, um, human rights? No, you have to, you have to different through now because you're a leader now and you want elected again. Are you for, are you for put your mandate out there and tell the people them what, what you are about to do? You understand? And run on that because the PMP now no crime plan. All them have is more crime committed and for more people lose them life. Are you, are you, have to use the strategy, the strategies them, them and show us boy, look. We are going to build some supermax prison just like El Salvador. And you know, so the PMP are come out against it. But are you, are you have the bully pulp people, you know, if you talk to the people, them, you're afraid of the message. And if you want to get rid of crime, you know, mess, you know, talk to the people, them. Every time you just wait till something and for talk to them, you're supposed to talk to the people, them, every day. And I tell them about crime, 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 till them get it. You have to keep repeating it. I saw so Jamaican people learn things. Jamaican people don't learn things by one day, one day or something. Like them get it. No, as tomorrow them forget. So you have to keep repeating it. That's how we were taught because them know, say, Jamaican people are tough. I don't know why we are telling. Oh, what? So you yeah, have to Oh, boy. Oh, you have said that. But of course, Jamaican people are tough. So you have to repeat it over and over for them get it. And then them say, all right, me get it now. If you tell them one time, all right, just like how, I will tell him, say, oh, General Starkey, I don't know, Ero, General Starkey was a rapist and a murderer. Oh, uh, boy, you can't say that because of that them saying in the community, I keep repeating them. All right, if you have your sister and a man, a man, come on, take out your sister by gunpoint and go rape her and bring her back. What you call that? Rape. Okay, that's what I'm used to do. Eh? Say my rapist. You're not telling him before, but you have to explain to him. And you keep repeating it, repeating it until he get it. And realize, boy, what he was doing is wrong. I saw you have to do it. I that the Prime Minister need for the messaging, messaging, messaging. Mark Golden, I keep telling the people, them say, hey, look, when you kill people, you are the victim. We want you to go to prison and come back so you can start over your life. There's no way in a really rehabilitated criminal. Criminal, they send them to your departure long. Straight. No excuse, nothing. You understand? So it's time, it's time we challenge these allegiances. Yes, and unite against crime. We cannot let fear or misplaced loyalty dictate our actions. 
Enough is enough. We can change the narrative and create a safer community for ourselves and future generations. So I urge you to join me. Speak up, report crimes, and refuse to support criminals in any shape or form. It's time to rebuild our community's reputation and restore trust among ourselves. Together, we will rid Reaton and other communities of these criminals and pave the way for a brighter and save a future. So the witness, witness to the shocking tale of a man who fell victim to a heinous robbery carried out by three individuals in the infamous, infamous Reaton. And yielding in his pursuit of justice, he documented, he, he documented their identity in a compelling video uh, that exposed their true faces as the culprits behind his ordeal. But here's where the plot thickens. The resilient people of this close-knit community vehemently deny their association with these individuals, ad adamantly claiming that they are not gunmen. So what are they now? If they have gone with them, right? <laughs> well, them, them, if they might have gone illegal gun and Arab people, they are not gunmen. That's why I'm telling you, you know, we don't even stop believe them lying people when they might come a court. You don't know the men, man. Uncle criminal them defending. You know? Remember me tell you that you know. So however, however, their protestations ring a lot as it's it was revealed that these very same young men were caught red and in, possessing numerous items stolen from other vulnerable women within the community. So when them attacks of these youth innocent, boy, they should have carried him in with gun. No. Gun kill. You understand? You have a gun, you have the intention to kill people. You shoot off at the police, the police have to defend themselves. Yeah, you understand? One shot, one kill. Departure long. Book them ticket, no return. I just saw it go. And we love that. Good work by the police. And we're glad to know uh, none of the um, victims of the robbery weren't injured or receive any injury. And them have to, woman, them have to keep her like, I want them dropping her in a mud, mud water in a, in a place, you know. You understand? So the startling revelation now raises a disturbing question. Does this signify a deep-rooted culture of supporting criminals within our society? Yes, it is. Join us in this gripping, <laughs> gripping um, expose as we delve, delve deeper into the heart of this matter, challenging community allegiances and shedding light on the consequences of this alarming phenomenon. Prepare yourself for a thought-provoking exploration of the binary between lawlessness and loyalty as we take you on a journey through the dark underbelly of Rayton and beyond. Don't miss out on the unve unveiling, expo exposing the robbery, gang and challenging community allegiance. A must-watch video to raise awareness and initiate vital discussion and pressing issues. Yeah man, if you haven't subscribed to the Jamaica Young Police channel yet, yeah man, subscribe, hit the bell, yeah man. After you subscribe, hit the bell icon to stay updated. And this crucial series of revelation, join the channel. Yeah, join the channel. Select the thumbs up button. Yeah, man, thumbs up. You have thumbs up, thumbs down. Thumbs up means you like the video. You understand? And together, yeah, man, let's stand against culture of criminal support and pave the way for a safer and more just society. Criminal aff criminality affects everyone of the Jamaica, Jamaica, you know? every Jamaicans. So the remains of the uh, of the fire set by residents of Rayton as they protest the fatal shooting of three teenagers by members of the police team on Sunday. You understand? So them burn down the place and then when they burn it down, down them say complaints here road now. Boy, the road bad and this and that. When I them do it, you know. You understand? So several residents of Rayton in East Kingston took to the street Sunday morning in a fiery protest over the fatal shooting by the police of three teenagers from the community in a shootout. So they want to say, I shoot them, shoot off the police, you know. I want them, I want the police say, don't come in here, you know. You understand? Because we have a gun on them things. And the police say, well, find a fire shot, you know. Even Steve, one shot, one kill. So the police report that the police, um, I report the police, they are you know. You understand? So, let me tell you this. At least four incidents, you know, the men reported the stole cell phone, cash and other items, you know. So police control was able to use the tracking device. And one of the stolen phone. A police team was dispatched to the premises on Paradise Street in the area where they couldn't pinpoint the exact location of the robbers with the phones. They robbed along with, their, with, with the victims who were present. Residents of Rayton are demanding justice following the fatal shooting of the three teenagers from the community. 
So sources say that at about 4.15 a.m. the police arrive at the premises and were greeting with gunfire. Regular thing that I get on you know. Yeah man, cause them no say any idea. In time you kill them, the people them are say boy them innocent. And like people them, you know, women them and them are up on the TV. And you know the people them uptown, oh they're so poor and they're black and you know, sir, you know, the police didn't have to kill them. These artless people, you know. And I saw them send the three police guard prison um, from Mobile Reserve for short day. The criminal girl, where we in a guy immaculate, jumping a vehicle with boy them where a rab. You understand? Two gun around the seat, the woman named Katy Pike, she suppressed the evidence and met the police them go to prison for three years, traumatized them for do them work. But I thought God said, boy, me serving our time in time, it wasn't the criminal, fully criminal paradise. You understand? So the police returned the fire and when the shooting subsided, three men were found with gunshot wounds. They were taken to hospital where they were all pronounced dead. I saw it figure. One shot, one kill. So according to the police, a Taurus 9mm pistol with a magazine containing 12 rounds and an Arcus 9mm pistol with a magazine containing 5 rounds were seized following, um, following the incident. It is further reported that some of the victims of the robber, robberies were able to identify the dead man as among those who had stolen from them and a number of stolen items were identified. The dead men have since been identified as carrier, partner, otherwise called CJ from Paradise Street, Andre Max Turner from John Street, and Shahid Morgan, better known as Tinado, also from John Street. So now a gang member. But residents who identified the three as fishermen challenged the police version of his event, events as they demand justice in a protest. Stage close to the entrance of Rayton Fishing Village. Three little innocent boys, Yaman, yeah them kill. Them don't, them don't even reach 28. I, I feel them, look, them never want nothing out of life. Them just want to be criminal because them feel the gun and make them get rich. And at two places they're going to get here, prison or the departure along. You understand? So, Sydney, you know, um, so, 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 so resident who gave her name as Sydney, that type of woman we have, we have them woolly pop, um, brown teeth and lose um, half, her, half her teeth them in her mouth. So she lose, she lose about 15 teeth. You understand? So she joined the resident in question and the police claim that the men were armed and asked, asked what she alleged was the absence of Spencer on the scene. So if I found a police kill them, maybe I dopey kill them then. So I do you know, so you understand. So if you don't even find a gun gun them them in no, me say you don't carry carry big bad man who have big gun. Why uno kuno carry in the tree like a pitney them? Carry them in for what? They're my killer. You understand? They have gun. For what? For them go to prison and come back. Nah, man. I'm plan all kind of thing. You send them my departure along. They're not nothing for plan, but I'm plan now. All them, go, all them, them soul are going to deal, deal over there. So, now. so, you know, say if you don't make yourself right to God straight, you know, so Satan did that ready for, ready for, um, in time judgment. Yeah, Satan did that for deal with you. You understand? But, yeah, you know, see it. So, she said, I'm going to shoot out. She wasn't there, you know. So, late Sunday afternoon, Assistant Commissioner, Assistant Commissioner of Police of, of Investigation, Anish Campbell, told the Gleaner that his team has launched his, its mandatory probing. So, why the man not go back to England? Can he come from Jamaica? I'm love Jamaica, sir. I'm so, I'm, I'm so concerned about criminals. And when them die England, I commit crime, they deport them. Why, I'm not, why, why uh, England if stay? We don't want him to come from Jamaica. Campbell not come from there. Why must stay in England? Because at them same one down at Jamaica are bad for criminal, but yet say them are deport them from England. How kind of contradiction that? You're not supposed to keep the criminal them in England and start deport them. But you don't have Jamaica now and defend criminal when you are deport them from England. You know, go and make your country man. Why Jamaica have him down so long? And him are not Jamaican. After Jamaican can't go to England, you just live so go work. They now gain a work, them now gain a work in the government position unless you ask, unless unless um you have the qualification and all them things there. And you can't deny you know big posts in there. Oh, you have big posts down there. You, you understand? They need to scrap in the command, send back Amish can go back to him country. We don't want to um, no English man now. Because he no know him, 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 can, him, can, him cannot emphasize with the Jamaican people. You understand? You know, see? So, yeah, we continue about Indicom. So, Indicom attended the scene, taking photograph of the scene, recover the weapon from the police officers and the weapons allegedly found on the gunmen and inquiries are continuing. So four police officers attended the scene. Three of those police officers fired their weapon. The fourth officer did not fire I added Campbell. So why the police have to go back on the scene? That's a traumatizing them all over. They don't know that. 
So the PMP party has always been at the forefront of looking out for criminals. They believe that the ones who lose their lives properly, pro lose their lives and lives, property and dignity are just suckers. They think it's okay for murderers and artless criminals to roam the street freely. But ask yourself, in this, is this the Jamaica we want? Is this how we want our future to look? We deserve better. We deserve a Jamaica where law-abiding citizens can walk safely and freely without fear. A Jamaica where our property is protected and our dignity is upheld. The PMP party is only, is only good at wanting, creating murderers and heartless criminals. But we can change that. We have the power to make a difference. Let's stand up against the PMP party and its twisted perspective. Let's demand justice for the victims, not the criminal. Together we can build a safer Jamaica. A Jamaica where the victims' voices are heard, justice is served, and criminals are held accountable for their actions. Thanks for watching this eye-opening video. Join us in our spirit and fight against crime and subscribe to our channel. Stay updated on how we can build a better Jamaica. Together we can make a difference. Yes, so the PMP caretaker now wants a thorough probe of the deadly return confrontation. So get a deep in insight into the controversial perspective of PMP um, National Party in Jamaica regarding criminals as we uncover their stance on the issue. In this enlightening video, the um, title Jamaican Criminal, the PMP perspective revealed we delve into the beliefs that killers, robbers and rapists are considered victims, while those who suffer loss of life and property and dignity are dismissed as suckers. Explore PMP long-standing reputation of prioritizing criminals and exa examine the potential consequences of this ideology. Prepare to be challenged and gain a fresh understanding of the complexity surrounding crime in Jamaica. Stay tuned for, for the eye-opening revelation and join the conversation. So PMP caretaker yeah man, for Central Kingston Lawrence Rowe, uh, not the cricketer, is calling for a thorough investigation into the fatal shooting of the three men in Raytown on Sunday. The three men were shot and killed by the police. Mr. Rowe urges Indicom of the in Indicom Commission of Investigation to thoroughly probe. He say every aspect of the case must be examined with as much diligence to ensure transparency and justice for all parties involved. He argued that it is unfortunate. It is an unfortunate event that, that underscored the need for law enforcement agency to exercise greater discretion in using force. There is no discretion in using force. If I'm on fire, shut off fire, the only thing you can do is return the fire. You understand? Maybe we need a rocket launcher to start kill them because they have rifle or shoot them out, lick them out of the building. So the PMP say it stands with the support, the rule of law. <laughs> While it acknowledges the complicated and often dangerous tasks carried out by the police, the protection of life and adherence due to pro and to due process must remain at the forefront of their responsibility. So the P yeah, so um so Lawrence Ruan him say um he addressed the tragic shooting incident that occurred in Rayton, Kinson on October twenty second, and he calls her a tower in the uh, investigation. But look, you have to understand, you know, I have to really laugh, you know, when the PMP say, boy, <laughs> you know, the PMP say, you know, boy, them people are easy, you know, but hey, all them do it, all them say it with a, with a straight face, they say that them against crime when they are the biggest supporter of criminality in the country. You understand? They don't care about law-abiding citizens. Never have and never will. And all them care about is criminal because that's their damn fan base and that's the way them voters lie. You understand? And all them do is destroy people's lives in Jamaica and tell them, say, yeah, criminality is the best way and them thing there. And I can tell you, it's not the best way because that's the worst way. You're going to end up at the departure along our prison. You understand? Have yourself a beautiful day. Jamaica, Young Police Channel, out.